When constructing a window with no days glaze using the quick cure or professional fast cure methods, you construct your window, solder, and then heat set the no days glaze. These methods are much quicker than the heat as you go hobby cure method, but you'll need to adjust your pattern for the added width of the no days glaze on either side of the heart of the lead cane. To prevent pattern growth, you can use the no days glaze pattern shears or draw over your pattern with a fine point sharpie. If you're using design software, you can have the program adjust your lines for the size of the heart of the lead and the no days glaze, which is approximately 3 30 seconds of an inch. The pattern shears are used like scissors, and as you cut along the pattern line, the shears remove a strip of the pattern that compensates for the no days glaze in the lead channel. You would then use your labeled cut out paper pieces to trace your pattern onto the glass. Once you've outlined your pattern onto the glass, you need to make sure that you cut to the inside of the lines. You'll need to use a grinder to remove any areas on the glass where the line remains. If you don't have the no days glaze pattern shears or don't like using pattern shears, then you'll need to compensate for this width in other ways. Ideally, you'd use a pen with a point that is 3 30 seconds of an inch wide. A fine point sharpie will leave a mark about 1 16th of an inch, and if you trace next to the pattern lines, it will very nearly compensate for the gap. However, a well-used fine point sharpie with a blunt end matches the gap perfectly. Now that you know how to prevent pattern growth, you're ready to begin construction with no days glaze using either the quick cure method or professional fast cure method. For more instructional videos, visit Struder.com. For ordering information or help with questions, email info at Struder.com.